Love it. They should make a tornado fire and lockdown sign now. I, I agree. I agree with that. Um, actually, not so, a, you, so you can actually it not a bad idea. You're on to something on that. <laughs> yeah. Even though I'm not as smart as I think I am, or no, some people think I am. Trying to get my brains on fire today. That is clever. Um, I'm going to bring that up. That is actually a really good point. Wait, All right. Does that mean you have to bring it up to Mr. Haggard something like that? Yeah. I'll give you credit. That is actually really clever. I like it. All right. Um, all right. Today, um, I want to go through um, any late work policies that we have. Remember, end of the quarters this Friday. All late work, all late work is due by Friday. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Eric, you owe me page 116. That's the one about repeating decimals. Okay. So I think it's still in your notebook. I remember you doing it, you just didn't turn it in. Um, Sam, you had the conversions, that little piece of paper thing with the... You mean that thing? Oh, that. This thing. Oh, that thing? You were still holding on to it. I might want to turn that in. Um, I'm not sure if I'm and then that assignment, that assignment... Page 124, 128, that is due, I think it was due technically today. I think that was the day. Oh, that's it. That's what I need. Um, yeah, I think you're done with it. I'm looking through it first. Yep. Um, and then this page 124, 128, that assignment is the last assignment of the quarter. Yes, so that one needs. Done. Yeah, I know, I know it was done. That's why I, was, I thought it was weird that you didn't turn in. Um, 124, 125, that, that assignment right there, that one's due today. So that one's due by Friday if it's late. Okay, so um, in that one here. 124, 125. No, you turn in 116 or uh, 114, 115. Uh, this one was based on proportions and based on simplifying. I think it might, the sub gave you that assignment last that, Thursday. Uh, nine period today. Yep. Uh, the time. Yeah. So, uh, but that one's due by the end of the week. All late work is due by Friday. After Friday, I don't grade it. So check your grade book. There is missing scores. If there's an LI, MI, or zeros or blanks, that's what the ones you have to do. Got it? Yep. Okay. Perfect. But your grade book is up to date as of this moment. So everything was in there if you had it turned in. I'm going to hand back some papers today, so if you want to make some corrections on homework assignments, you can always do that. You guys know the drill. Uh, but I'm going to take that one because I want to grade that today. All right, today let's take a few notes. Hey, let's take a few notes so we can talk about what we're doing. All right, here we go. So, what we're going to look at today, um, we're on section 5.3, which is using proportions. Now, I want to talk about what we've been using. Proportions, there we go. Um, what we've been using proportions for, um, the basic uses of them. So think back to the first day I introduced this, this was like last Thursday, last Friday. What were the basic problems we've talked about with proportions so far when we did conversions and stuff? What were the types of problems we've done? How do, what do we use proportions for? Think back to the last couple days in here, what did we do yesterday? I can't even remember yesterday. Other than playing Monopoly. What did we, we else do? We had some books. Oh, look at mileage. Mileage, yeah. We used geographical maps. That, yeah. Yeah, we used the maps. We talked about how to use proportions <laughs> with geographical maps. That is a major use. We talked about that. Number two, the second one we did. We did it earlier. In fact, it was based on this one. So, Sam, what was this one based on? Do you remember this? Just look through the little I can't remember the name of it, but I do remember doing it. <laughs> what what was the what what was the purpose of doing it? What were we doing on the work? Something that dealt with money. Money, you're absolutely right. Conversion of money. Denominations. Uh, we did conversions on exchange rates. Conver con uh, conversions on exchange rates. Exchange rates, money, denominations, coins, you know, whatever, whatever you're doing there. And then one of the other types of problems we also talked about, like actual like uses, we talked about how to do it with recipes. That was the very first day, you know, when you, when you had a recipe and you want to feed a certain amount of people. Okay, so these are the things we've been using it for. The goal today is to finally highlight 
all the stuff we've been doing, kind of putting it all together into one type of problem. Okay? Um, talking about, you know, if you're on a certain place, maybe it's cheaper for certain items. We can do exchange rates. We can do uh, different things. Uh, but I want to do a type of problem that kind of mixes it all together. So here we go. So let's say we're going to the grocery store and there is there is a case of soda. Okay? There's a case of soda. How much does a um, um, how much does a case of soda actually cost? I'm gonna say around like twelve or four or fifteen. Oh. 16, 17? I'm gonna keep going high. <laughs> okay. Six ninety nine. Oh wow, they dropped. Six ninety nine. You get you get a uh, you get a twenty four pack of Pepsi. I think I have bills right now for that. Okay? Oh, that's bills. Bills for for twenty four cans. Okay. Now here's what I'd like you to figure out. If you're going to buy one can, how much will it cost you? Take six times one and yeah. divide by twenty four. Cool. Oh, yeah. so six ninety nine times one divided by twenty four. This is costing me. 30 cents a can. This is my X. This is how much money it costs per can of pop. Not bad. 30 cents a can. Seriously? Yeah, that's what it costs. That's why it's cheaper to buy the case. Instead of going to the gas station, how much does it cost for a bottle of pop? Ooh, I can't remember that. Isn't there like eight something? No, bottle. One bottle. Okay, how do you know what the actual price is? I just looked this morning. Oh, one bottle of pop. One bottle of pop. Four. Something. Three something. One eighty nine. Dollar eighty nine. Oh, I thought you were meaning like one of the bigger bottles. No, they're not. Just like a twenty ounce bottle. A dollar eighty nine, and that was for that was just for like a it was a, a Dr Pepper, I think, at the time. All right. So these are your costs. Now, a bottle of pop is roughly two cans. You know, you can, it's roughly about two cans. It's a little bit more than two, or uh, one bottle is usually a little bit less than two cans of pop. Um, but if you were to buy two cans of pop and you're trying to do this conversion, it wouldn't work right. Two times two eight, or times a dollar eighty nine. Yeah. Times a dollar eighty nine divided by one. It says that two cans of pop should cost you this. Here's my problem with this type of math. Okay, number one, the conversion isn't correct because the bottle doesn't match two cans exactly. And are you going to pay $3 for two cans of pop? You could. No, you could, but you're not going to. That conversion doesn't work. The reason why it doesn't work, these labels are different. The labels are different and it's not scaling correctly. That's why. Cans don't convert to bottles. That's just something you need to think about. Okay? That is not an equal conversion. This is something I do not want you to ever attempt to try. Okay? Don't attempt to do that. Okay? When the labels are the same, you're allowed to do this. Okay. It's Nick and Gary. And I guess it right. Hi, Nick. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. So, so the idea is that don't do this type of conversion when the labels are all different. Okay, the labels have to be the same for it to work. So um, let's make up a new thing. So let's say let's say we're going to be doing a recipe, and you're going to be you're going to be buying a box of um, a box of macaroni and cheese, so, mac and cheese, okay. and you're going to buy one box, and the box itself costs you eighty nine cents. So let's say it's eighty nine cents a box. It's a bigger box of uh, mac and cheese. And, but the thing is, you don't want one box. Your family requires, because you have a big family, you're going to have, you know, you're going to be making a recipe. It calls for four. You need four boxes of mac and cheese. This is a totally acceptable conversion. Now, here's why. It's totally acceptable. This was one box. They have the same label, correct? Yeah. If you do the math, it'll tell you the correct price, what it's going to cost you for four. This is where you can actually tell if it's something's on sale or not. Because when you actually go to the store and you take your four times uh, 89 cents, which is three dollars and fifty-six cents. Three dollars and fifty-six cents, right? And that's what they're gonna charge me for my four boxes. You could possibly see that going around 
um, the store, maybe there's sales on different types of mac and cheese and you don't want to pay $3.56 for four of them. Maybe there's a deal, you buy one, you get one free. Okay, no, I don't want to see that. Put that away. Okay. All right, questions, comments, concerns about proportions? No. Okay, so let's do a problem. I'd like you to have your notes out. We're gonna do two problems on the board. I wanna see if you can do them correctly. So I want to see them on paper. Here we go. So person number one. Person number one is going to purchase. Did you say we need calculators? Yes, you'll need calculators. Is going to purchase. I'll just keep the calculators over by everyone's spot and stuff. Or Person number two. Uh, two. Wait, do we get to choose which is which that we're doing? Yes. Person number two is going to purchase twelve. Or is going to purchase twenty apples. Twenty apples. Or dollar. This is this is the question of the day that I'd like you to try to figure out. You can pick either one you want. Which one is the better deal, or are they the same? Mm. So think about it. So I want to see if you can do it on paper. If you can get this one correct, we'll immediately go into Monopoly. Mm. Okay, there you go. Try it out. You guys had some instincts what you guys were talking about right when you first started. I wanna see if you can get it. Come here, right? Four. Simplify into 0 0.2125. 2125. All right, that's roughly 21 cents. 21 cents okay. per apple. Okay, yeah. per one apple. Okay, 21 cents. Apples. Okay, yeah. not bad, right? You're thinking 21 cents? That's not bad. Okay. Now, Sam, you did a different fraction. What was your fraction? I did the 3.75. 3.75. Over 20. Over 20. And you simplified, which is? Um, 0 0.1875. 1875 over 1. So what is that in terms of price? 18 cents. 18 cents. Person 2 has a better deal. 18 cents per apple. You guys nailed it. Now, here's the thing. There's a different way to do this problem than what you guys did. You guys did it the fastest way possible. You figured out the price per single apple, unit form. The other way you could have done this, you could have done it like this. 12 over 255, 20 over x, where you put x, where we know that x is 375, but you can cross, multiply, and divide, and figure out what that number should have been. And by using this, this is what it would cost you 
for 20 apples, and you could sell for X, and then you do it for the other one. And this could t also tell you what the price would be, you could compare. But you guys did it the fastest way possible. You guys actually compared by unit rate. Uh, Not bad. All right, let's get to the actual activity today. Let's get to the fun.